Hello. I wonder if anybody going come on with me. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. Hello. Um. Hi everybody. I'm not going to stay long with you know because I know say Sunday evening. And you know just eating a Sunday dinner. And you know I relax now, right? Hi Miss Elsa, how are you? Alright, well, by all you have now seen my mugshot. Right? Um, hey Shanafi. <laughs> you see what I put up, Shanafi? You see. You see the, the title of because I'm gonna talk about what you said to me. No. First of all, let me start by saying th yes, my love, my wanted, Rochelle, my wanted. <laughs> Thank you for all the birthday wishes and everybody who made my birthday special. Thank you so much. See my fix up and yeah, look like somebody picked me. Hi, hi, Hopi. But yeah, so right. So appearing this morning, I plan to rest. I didn't want to do anything. I went out last night. Thank you, Martha. Hi, Laura. I went out last night. The people them can me there. Right. So, my mother was trying to call me. Hey, Merlene. So, sorry for the freezing. All right. So, I was saying that them can me into going out last night. So, I, I, I can't bleach. I'm not a bleacher. So, I didn't plan to do much today. Thank you, Roshin. I didn't plan to do much today. So, I was in bed and thank you everybody thank you for the compliments thank you <laughs> but i was planning to stay in bed and i got two calls i got two phone calls one from a parent who i i had um assisted by telling him how to make the papaya leaf and me sending go you and his son get admitted and another one was on instagram from a little boy a little baby who his parent from me get about three calls from three different people early in the morning so i said all right i'm gonna get up i blend up some papaya leaf juice i was even talking to, to hillary who is now on for happy birthday hillary for her birthday right anyway i went up there and i gave them right we ain't driving me all over the place because you know my car is done i went in there them not stress me them not stress me i figured that's what my mother calling down my phone about but anyway, do my rounds, stop and make some deliveries, and I went back home, you know, to lie down. The same gentleman, the same gentleman called me, and he said to me that, you know, they took a picture of you, and it's on the ward at UA, and they're saying that you're not to be allowed in the ward. So I said, really? Send it to me. Anyway. He sent it to me and I posted it up. So you always telling people not, that I'm not to be allowed on the ward. So persona non grata or whatever. Right? First of all, I have a few things to say. Number one, I do not go on any hospital ward unless somebody call me to visit them. I don't go on the... First of all, remember, I give this thing away. I don't just take up myself and go on the ward and offer it to people. I don't do that. Every time, the few times, because I don't go on the ward often either. The few times that I actually go on the ward, a people call me and say, you need to come because we can't move and you need to come. Apart from that, me either meet people somewhere or meet them even in the parking lot, which is what I do most of the time. You understand? I meet them somewhere. Just, if you don't, how the wards are set up at all pediatric wards, if you don't know somebody, you cannot go on the ward. You understand? If you don't know, you have to them. It cut the security on the ward is tight, so you have to be visiting somebody, right? So, anyway, be that as it may. Yes, Keith, I remember. I may have to go send you down some. You need to call me. I'm bad. I'm my head bad. Honestly, my head really bad. The bottom line is though, I realize the fight that I'm getting from all different aspects and. As my sister Shanafi said to me, say, listen, when them are fight to gain something, somebody's time to change your strategy. And probably I have to change my strategy. You understand? Probably I will have to change how I do this. People will just, instead of me walking around and doing it, people just have to 
find me. You understand? You understand? Hi, Diana. How you do? How is Matthew? Anyway, the bottom line is, it is not going to deter me. You know the star called me. You understand? The, the, the star called me. Got me figure, so that's why my parents are ringing down my phone. Because them see it and they must be screaming. You understand? Because my, my parents trying to call me like 50 trillion times. Anyway, the bottom line is, it will, I'm the one that posted it. You understand? I, this gentleman saw the picture. And he sent it to me and I'm the one who posted it. So I take full responsibility for posting it because I want people to know. And under the post a while ago, I was talking to an, a, a person who um, saying that boy, it, or she gave it to her niece and it affected the, the it never helped and it, the platelets drop same way and then it damaged the liver. Yes, I am. I, you are right, Shanafi. I'm preventing somebody from eating a food. That's what it boiled down to. That's why I'm getting a fight. And remember, say, this is a eating a food at all different levels. We are not talking about at the lowest level. We are ta that's what I'm going to do, Keitha. We're not talking about the level, lowest levels here. We're talking about the pharmaceutical companies here in some instances. You understand? Even though there is no cure for dengue, probably it is that they have realized that, listen, this papaya leaf thing is working and we need to make a money off it so this girl needs to start gateway you understand so probably if they would feel better if i sell it okay no problem the bottom line is i will forever give you the information and the information will be forever out there right that's the bottom line that it will it will help you i'm not a doctor i never did claim i was a doctor right number one number two I was told about this by a doctor and I'm not claiming to cure anything, right? Papaya is a fruit. It's a food. It's classified as a food. It's not classified as a drug, right? So the parts of the papaya plant is a... Yes, 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 Shanafi, you're quite right. They're going to they're gonna commercialize it, you know? You know? And El Nadia, um, I think that's your name. I hope I pronounce it right. I'm sorry if I didn't. But the thing is, um, they are trying to put in the patient's head that it will affect the liver. That's what this lady came to me with, that boy, because the liver is damaged, is affected by dengue. The liver is swollen. It's going to be affected. But what causes the liver to swell in? The liver to swell in? The, no, it's not my idea. It's not my idea, actually. I got it from a doctor. A doctor told me about it. You understand? So it's not my idea. I'm just the one who is willing to come out and talk about it freely. You understand? But what causes the swelling in the liver is the actual disease. That's what dengue does. When you, the platelets drop, it actually um, causes some inflammatory, basically inflammatory mediators go out of whack in the liver, the liver enzymes. And it, it, it raises up the, 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 the everything out of whack. You understand? They, 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 she was even saying, boy, the enzymes are not our normal one listen once the liver is is swollen the enzymes are out of whack all right that's the bottom line so i know says a doctor was in her head the bottom line is what dengue does dengue increases the platelet count which in turn reduces all of these symptoms that are a direct result of the redu reduction in the platelet count most of the things that happen to these organs the multi-organ problems that you experience with dengue is because the blood now clapped and it throw everything out of work because remember so the platelet responsible for the, the clotting of the blood in you, know? you understand i posted a video on my timeline earlier in this week i put it up on youtube as well where dr winston Dawes was on tvj news on monday night and then on smile jamaica tuesday night, tuesday morning saying two different things on monday night he was saying that then that that papaya leaf might cause more harm than good and on tuesday morning he was saying that he has seen where studies show that it is it is it helps you understand? As I've said repeatedly over and over, there are 3,000 citations on the internet, over 3,000 citations about the papaya leaf and its efficacy, its use in the treatment of the management of dengue. I'm not a doctor, so I won't talk about treatment. You understand? And as I said to the star reporter, it's not going to stop me. I am, it's it not going to stop me. If you want it, you call me right as my, my, my sister said i might have to change how i do how i operate because obviously somebody out there is very upset at the fact that may box food out of their mouth for telling people 
you understand you can't believe everything on the internet but you you need to know how to research right you have some things called medical citations go on the medical journals they're all there you understand these are research papers you can google the research papers you know just type in medical citations and papa and papaya leaf extract and you see it you have to know how to research you understand me telling you all the time i was a drug rep for 10 years right when you're a drug rep you have to know how to research your, your products and your competitors and all of them someday so it's simple and do not swallow the words that one doctor say to you go and get a second opinion and a third opinion and go and google it and ask questions listen when i hear a pick me telling you something as i said earlier when a child dies to the doctor it's just another statistic because they deal with the death of children every single day when your child dies it's your child that is dead and it is your life that is forever changed you are the one who have to live with the knowledge that your child has died you are the one that has to that have to go on with it remember i tell you so therefore it is your duty as a parent to go out of your way to ensure that you save your child life you understand so as i'm saying to you you are the one that has to take the ultimate responsibility for your child life you cannot be dependent on doctors because remember in november every single day basically we lost a child to dengue if they knew what they were doing we wouldn't be losing so many children and we have the highest rate of death from dengue in the hemisphere this is this is already documented you understand oh that our oh, lady i pronounced it properly ah good yeah the bottom line is it won't deter me right i will forever come on here and educate them about it me not stop talk about it me not stop talk about papaya leaf because i've seen what it has done me can give you hundreds of testimonials now we have distributed over 300 bottles already since we started this drive right believe it or not over 300 bottles have been distributed and we now stop a matter of fact it's more than 300 bottles but uh, off at the top of my head because i'm not the only one that's distributing because other people have been inspired and they're doing yes shanafi papain papain is the powerful enzyme yeah but they're trying already they have been trying they have been trying to com commercialize papain they have been trying the bottom line yeah the bottom line is we as the people need to know the truth and them have if they feel more comfortable with doing what they're doing by thinking that by oh she's banned from the ward it's gonna stop what you already know yes it helps with chick v it helped with malaria i mean there are so many studies on the use of, of of papaya leaf in all of these things hi send someone to your family member and it's oh okay yeah it 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 works it works you understand so the bottom line is we're not stop we're not we, we're not we we are not going to be deterred in preaching the message we might have to change how we do it but we're not going to be deterred and that is the bottom line right anyway me now stay within a long time cook. you see the hours them with me cook because me go back go sleep and no wake listen i am not this this not even going to make me lose sleep it's not even going to allow me to lose sleep because at the end of the day i know in my heart that what i am doing is a good thing you understand i am the one who will be able to sleep with myself in the night because i know say when i, I get a call say boy thank you this child is out of the hospital now and the platelets immediately after we started giving them this thing the platelets start to change um i mean every day i get a call or a message that this thing is helping so i am going to continue to preach this message you understand and the thing is i implore all of you to just to, to fight and thank you wendy and do the research just go on and do the research do your own research and post it up you see if the 240 of you are watching this thing and afterwards when you share it if you all just post the what is there just do your own research thank you wendy continue to 
pray and post it. No matter how them try to hide the truth, the truth have to come out, you know. It have to come out because we want the aim is to ensure that every single Jamaican knows that this thing can help. You know, on my birthday, um, the day before my birthday, I posted a child that had died sometime before. Somebody gave me the information because, as you know, I only post up things when people send them to me. Cause I don't go around and scour and dig. I'm not the media. You understand? I don't go. People send things to me. And I posted up and the family was very offended apparently and i take full responsibility for that because i i seriously thought that the person who sent the information to me was a family member you know and my issue was how they went about it somebody had come in my inbox and i saw but afterwards i saw thank you brad thank you thank you for please do that afterwards i saw another family member who was cussing me and you know i was like anyway i i shared it the, 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 the I shared the post on my page, right? And I'm just gonna imp just remind you that when people are grieving, them grieve differently. I spoke to the mother on the thread and I can understand and appreciate the fact that she is grieving for the loss of her child. You understand? We may have gotten the circumstances surrounding the child's death wrong. And um, for that, I totally understand and I take responsibility. But the bottom line is the child died. You understand? The child did succumb to the disease. And at the end of the day is another child that we did not get to intervene in time. You understand? So at the end of the day, we just need to spread the word. We need as many as people, as possible people aware. We want them, it's awareness. This is about awareness because when you spread, that's why I call this campaign the Dengue Awareness Campaign. You know? Because if you are aware about what is out there, when you are educated, you will make a more informed decision about your welfare and the welfare of your child. Yes, but you see, Shana, people communicate differently, especially when they're grieving. You understand? So, me will take responsibility for that and apologize profusely as i did on the post because at the end of the day i thought it i really thought it was a family member had sent me the post i realized afterwards that the person was not related you understand but be that as it may the date and the location of the death um was wrong but the fact is the child did succumb to the, the illness you understand it's just that the semantics around the case was different um but at the end of the day um we we need to be be able to put ourselves in a position where people don't have to go through this anymore because me and my heart to heart feel it for that little that young girl who lost her baby is her only child right it's her only child yes Trudy, and i agree with you i agree with you wholeheartedly it didn't give them the right to disrespect me but at the end of the day they are grieving you understand so me now go me now go kill them and me now go crucify them and me now have them up in my heart you understand People, people process pain differently. And it's something that I've come to learn. People process pain differently. You understand? Yeah, but as I said, Raquel, people process pain differently. The child is dead. I mean, obviously, it's a precious child. I've been talking about the, the, precious, the precious children. You understand? That have died. And we, 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 we apologize and we move on, Wendy. That is the bottom line. So... Going forward, you know, I will forever continue to spread the message. So once you have the information, once it can verify, once we can verify it, I will post it. But it has to be verified. And number two, we we have to change how we get this papaya juice out. You understand? No, Lion Benago, me, me can't bother. Me, 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 me reach 40 now and I just celebrated my 40th birthday. My father called me and laughed me to scan because he said I can't call myself a young girl anymore. They can't call me young anymore. I'm officially middle aged now. According to the law, I'm middle aged. So put, put some respect on my name. So I can't be in no careless argument anymore. You understand? Because I'm a big woman now. I'm 40. You understand? And the blood drive continues yesterday. The blood drive. Friday was a nightmare. Friday was a nightmare on the roads. And a lot of people who wanted to go out and give blood did not get to give blood. Number one, the traffic was horrendous. And number two, um, the blood bank closed early. 
Now, there are people, children out there who still, thank you, Lion, people who still need blood. There's a little boy right now, Andre Spence, who needs blood. He is at UA in ICU. There's a little girl on the I um on the pediatric ward at UA Ward 15, Sienna Murray, who when I checked up to day before yesterday, yeah, she's she was still in need of blood. You understand? At the end of the day, I believe that university hospital, yes, Carlene, life begin at 40, we're ready for start. But I believe that UA hospital instead of trying to post me up as some criminal or fugitive would have been better served if they would have gone out there and tried to assist in getting more go on a blood drive a campaign to bring more people in to give blood because this is a christmas season and a lot of people are eating and drinking and being merry and they don't have no time to think about blood apart from that or um the the, the accident rate on the road now we're at a 26 year high with the rate of the the the, the motor vehicle accidents the deaths because of motor vehicle accidents you understand so we need blood for those things too because when people crash and when people get shot you see how many 18 people have been killed in the last three um 72 hours you understand so at the end of the day these are issues why people will also need blood so i think that they would have been better served to go and get blood get people to come in and give blood instead of them they're taking me on you understand but it is what it is Shanaf is not that they're trained to deal with it is because it's because they have become desensitized they because of how jamaica is now they it's so full of so much blood and gore and mayhem that they have been desensitized when i used to work in the hospital system every that time a child died i cried you don't see that anymore and the nurse when the picnic them they did as young as them be the nurses were deeply emotionally affected you don't see that happening anymore you don't see that happening anymore i'm telling you you understand carlene there is a picture they took one of my pictures and put it up and said that i'm not allowed on the wards at the hospital at university hospital right and that's fine as i said to you a couple of days ago a nurse confronted me and told me to stop distributing juices to the parents and i said but the parents are asking it for me i'm not coming there and offering it to them i only came here because somebody called me and asked me to take it to them so you can't stop me you understand all right guys i'm gonna go now because our parent is calling me who is on the way to me now for some papaya juice so later remember monday morning meets tomorrow morning nine o'clock i don't even know what i'm gonna talk about yet you know but me know so remember monday morning meets you know me gone because he might call me take care bye